Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to give a brief overview on maps. And the reason I'm doing this is this directly relates to UIs in Unreal Editor for Fortnite and removing widgets from the screen. And at first I didn't realize that maps were such an integral part of that system that they have. And so because it is such an important part of removing widgets, I thought it was important to explain how maps work so that you'll have a better understanding of the UI widgets themselves. I'm just in a basic template right here, and I've got a verse device in there. And this is essentially all in the code, so let's just go over the code and talk about what a map is. So a map is a container that holds key value pairs, and it maps one value to another. And it can be of almost any type. To get started on this, we have a map, and we set it as a variable and the reason why is if I if I delete variable here, you're going to see I'm going to get errors down here now. If it's a constant, I can't change it. So it needs to be set to a variable. And up here in brackets is the, what they call the key. And following the brackets is the, the type. So here in the map, we're essentially setting the types of data that we're going to store in the map. And the what's in the brackets is the key and what follows the brackets is the value and it's the value that we're trying to access and if you don't get anything else out of this video the main thing is that you need the key to gain access to the value so a lot of times it might be confusing because it looks like why are we referencing the key when I want the value well we need the key to get the value so that's what was confusing me it's like why are we referencing the key you can almost think of the keys as the array value position but we need the key to get to the value and it's the value that we want so we have to use this word map and then it's a string type so it has to be in parentheses and then we use the equal angle bracket and then pair it with the integer value or whatever value so here it's a string but this could be any almost any data types in here but we just set our types here and then we use the keyword map and then we use the curly braces and then we just go ahead and instantiate it and then we use this equals angle bracket. And so down here, if we want to see the values in our key, we can just set up a for expression here and just go key value. And here we're just using a hyphen and an angle bracket, an arrow essentially. And this will allow us to loop through our map. So this will print out three sentences and each one it'll have our key and our value in it. And if you want to modify an existing element, and this relates to this point up here, we need the key to gain access to the value that even so it seems weird that that string is the key, that is the key. So the string gold is the reference to that this point here in the map. So if I want to change it, I just go set and then I'm telling it that location to zero. And if I want to see the new value, I can access the value by the, the same way that I set it. This is setting it, and this is getting it here, right? So this is a set, and this is essentially a get here. So this without the set is the get. <laughs> and then this, we put it in this new variable container, and then we can see that we'll see the value zero. So this will print out with the value zero. And then if we want to add a new element, then we just create our new element here in the map. And then it give it whatever value that we want. So it's pretty easy too. And this is the same thing. It's a, it's the get. So it's going to get the value out. So, and then here we will see it printed here. And then since we've updated our list, We've added, we've changed gold to zero, and we've added scrap metal at four. We'll cycle through the map again, and so here four sentences will print out. I also created this custom print string that I've been using so I, things stay on the screen longer, and I, I like changing the colors and stuff. So I've had issues with removing elements from the map, and I'm still working through that part right now. But when I get that figured out, I'll post a video about it. So let's go ahead and compile this and see if this is what we get. No errors. So there is everything. Yep. 
one, two, three, zero, my map. Yeah, so it seems to be working fine. The only issue I'm having is being able to remove an element from the map. But I'll post an update once I get that part sorted out. So anyway, take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.